hello guys welcome back to this channel in this video i want to give uh, a guide on how you are going to withdraw your usdt from owners exchange to binance or to okx or to any other centralized exchange and the reason why i'm doing this video is because so many people are reaching out to me saying that uh, they have lost their usdt they are not able to trace them inside the owners exchange and the fact is that owners exchange is a new exchange many people are not used to it so uh, it's, it's, it's very normal to be confused in this scenario. So uh, make sure you watch the video up to the end. I'm going to demonstrate exactly what you need to do. Uh, in the last video, I did uh, a guide on how you now move your tokens from main wallet to spot wallet and how you trade them uh, on spot trading uh, inside owners exchange. So now the biggest question is, now how do you withdraw this usdt because after selling the usdt many people are not able to see those usdt okay so that is the purpose of this video so that nobody is going to lose their assets for not knowing where to check those assets okay so welcome to this channel if it's your first time here do not forget to subscribe and also join our telegram channel the links are on the description of the video so now owners is here this is actually owners exchange this is how it looks okay so uh, i believe by now if you were to sell your owners exchange you have already sold your owners uh, tokens you have sold your owners tokens and you have usdt and by the way uh, i just realized if your tokens uh, worth uh, is less than five dollars you will not be able to sell them because they say minimum you can sell is five dollar equivalent so if you're trying to sell your tokens and they tell you they are worth less than five dollar you just hold on because i believe the token is going to pump and the reason why it is going to pump remember this token is a utility token so it's going to be used to uh to uh, it is going to be used to uh, as gas fee okay so the moment uh it is going to be used as gas fee that means that gas fee is going to be banned completely so that means the circulation uh circulating supply is going to reduce and eventually the price is going to pump by the time this token was listed the market cap was about 1.5 million which in my view is still low but the reason why it was low is because uh this is the only exchange where the token was listed so assuming this token was uh, listed in several other exchanges the liquidity could be way high okay so that is probably the reason why the price was low uh it was listed only on owners exchange okay uh but the fact that is it's a utility token is going to be used to pay gas fee it's going to pump so if your uh dollar equivalent of your owners tokens is less than five dollar just hold them once they uh, surpass five dollar you can be able to sell them right now you have sold your owners tokens okay there are two things here i just want to emphasize on okay uh, and by the way, before you watch this video, make sure you have watched the previous video. You have understood how you move your tokens from the main wallet to spot wallet and how you trade them on owners exchange. Okay. So this video, uh, I'm assuming you have sold your tokens and you have USDT. Now, how do you take USDT from here to Binance, for example, or to OKX or to any other exchange? And uh, even if you are not selling your tokens now, uh, it's important you understand the procedure so that anytime you're going to be selling your tokens, you know exactly what you need to do. Now, there are two things to pay attention to, okay? There are two things to pay attention to. First of all, we have this option of wallet, okay? That is when you are in the wallet section at the bottom left. If you are on the wallet section, there is this wallet and there is spot, okay? So this wallet is the main wallet, this one. Spot, this is where we trade on. So I'm assuming you have sold your USDT. You have sold your owners and you have gotten USDT. Now remember, don't forget, you are, don't forget your, your, your owners tokens were in, uh, initially when you withdrew them from uh, Telegram app, they came here to this wallet, okay? Uh, in the last video, I guided how you move them to spot. So I'm assuming they are here in spot. So when you sell your owners and you get USDT, that USDT is reposted here in spot. Okay. 
So for you to withdraw that USDT from owner's exchange to Binance, for example, you need to move them from spot to wallet because you cannot withdraw them if they are not in the main wallet. So what do you need to do? Because your USDT are in spot, you have to click on spot first of all, okay? You have to click on spot. So the moment you click on spot, you are going to see your USDT here, okay? You're going to see your USDT here. So the next thing now you need to do to move them from spot wallet to main wallet, you use the, the option of withdraw just down here this option of withdraw down here you tap on withdraw so uh, as you can see here it is now withdrawing it is moving your usdt from spot to main remember for you to withdraw your usdt from owners exchange they must be in main wallet so at this point in time you are you, are, you will be able to see your usdt balance here so what you do click on max and then uh, tap confirm down there and your tokens are now going to move from spot and now the moment you click on wallet you will be able to see your usdt like in my case here uh, i have 152 but then remember when you signed up for owners there is that ten dollar you got um uh to do futures trading that is if you want to do futures trading and you cannot be able to withdraw that uh, ten dollar so if i want to withdraw the amount I can be able to withdraw here is 152 or 142. So now I want to withdraw because now you can see I have uh, USDT in my main wallet. So what do I need to do? I need now to withdraw or I need to send the USDT from here to Binance, for example. So if I'm withdrawing to Binance and uh, this applies to any other exchange, uh, this is Binance. Okay. This is Binance. Binance looks like this. So I'm going to tap on wallet down here and then I'm going to tap deposit. So the moment I click on deposit, I'm going to select USDT because that is the token I'm depositing here. And I'm going to be selecting the cheapest network, which is PEP20, in this case, Binance Smart Chain. And then I'm going to copy this address. So once I've copied this address, I go back to owners. Okay. And then I'm going now to initiate the withdrawal. Okay. So I'm now inside uh, owners. I'm going to tap on this USDT. Remember, I'm in the main wallet. So I click on USDT here. And then I'm going to click on send. The option of send is just right here. Okay. This is send. I click send. And then I'm going to be selecting PEP20 Binance Smart Chain. Okay. And then I'm going now to enter the amount I want to send. In this case, I want to tap maximum. And then I'm going to continue. And then I'm going to paste the address that I've just copied from Binance. Okay. And then I'm going to confirm. And then I'm going to send. Okay. The last time uh, this send was uh, actually on maintenance. So I don't know uh, if it has been opened. So uh, an OTP is going to be sent to my email and uh, phone number. And I'm going to be completing the transaction. Okay. So I'm going to tap on uh, the first one. I verify like that is going to put a tick. Then I tap on email verification. They are going to send a code to my email, which I'm going now to uh, uh, to copy and paste here. Okay. So let me just get it right here. All right. Uh, I don't know how long it takes. Uh, okay. Let me try to. Let me try to get it. So here is the OTP. Okay. I've gotten the OTP. I've just requested. Uh, no, I'm not calling, but <clears throat> I need to copy it. I need to copy this. And then I get back to where I'm supposed to paste it. Uh, okay. It doesn't look like it wants to paste. Let me just enter manually. 65.48.51. Okay, and then it's going to verify automatically. Then I'm going to tap send. And then the USDT are going to be withdrawn from the owner's exchange to the other exchange where you want to move them. So you can see you have successfully transferred. Okay, so in a couple of seconds, I'm going to receive this amount. 
inside Binance. I'm going to be confirming so that you can be sure. Okay. So this is how you um, how you go about withdrawing your USDT from. Let me just get to this one. Let me go to. Let me go and see whether it has been deposited or it's in, in progress. Okay. Deposit. Let me just. Uh, the moment is going to be withdrawn from uh, owners exchange. I'm going to get a notification from Binance that deposit has already been done. Now, as you can see here, I've just received two notifications. First of all, the on chain you have sent. Uh, this is from um, this is from uh, owners. It's saying uh, I've uh, sent one for one dollar, and this is Binance acknowledging that the deposit has been received. And it is currently confirming okay so in a cup of uh, uh, around one minute or two minutes it's going to be credited here so in short that is how uh, owners exchange works that's how you withdraw your usdt from owners exchange to binance or any other exchange for that matter all right so you can proceed to follow this guide and withdraw your usdt all the best